that was a good save. Hey guys, it's me, Savannah, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be doing a summer transformation. That's a really cringy title, I know. But basically, I'll be doing my hair and also getting my second year low pierced because I've been thinking about doing this for a while, but I've never really had time to because of school. And now it's the summer before university. So I thought, what better time to do all these things than now? <laughs> and also bear with me for this clip because my guinea pigs are currently eating their lunch in their cages and they're chewing on some hay like intensely so yeah just take it as asmr <laughs> entertainment purposes all right let's get right on to the video so the first step to this hair transformation is to cut my hair and right now i have someone behind me cutting my hair <laughs> And yeah, we're just gonna probably time lapse this, but I'm thinking somewhere around just to my chin. We'll see what happens. So we are using these hair cutting scissors because I do not want to use kitchen scissors or any weird scissors that might damage my hair. And yes, this is happening right now. Very whack. Okay, so update, my hair is somewhat cut now because obviously it is to my chin. And we just need to clean up the mess on the floor. So we'll be doing that. So now that my hair is cut, I will be dyeing my hair with the hair dye that we bought yesterday. And I just wanna show you what the inside looks like. And I'm actually gonna use the pink. But basically, it is a permanent hair dye, but we use Google Translate for this page and it says there's no ammonia or ammonium in this, which is good for your hair. And let's open this. But yeah, I just wanna show you guys the color chart. So if you don't bleach your hair, obviously you won't get a pastel pink. And if you have darker hair, then you'll have some sort of like a reddish color. And I think that looks okay. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and open this. Oh, it is already open. So inside, there's a few items. Also, the packaging is so cute. Like, um, Delia and I saw this yesterday and we thought it was milk. So we put it in the shopping cart and my mom thought it was like a milk cookie. <laughs> and here, we have a first step solution or first i don't know what this is called and a step two so i think what we're supposed to do is combine these and it came in like a milk bottle that's why it is called milk i'm sure and also it has a package with the instructions and gloves it's called the real milk so it has the instructions which i will read here and it came with a pair of gloves some more gloves i'm guessing oh for my back i should be using this and a hair conditioning thing okay let's get started so we realized like i said previously the instructions are in korean and we do not know how to read this, so we're gonna Google Translate it before we start. Delia is doing some intense Googling right now, and I'm just appreciating how cute this bottle looks. Oh my Squeeze God. the cream from the first bottle mm -hmm. into the second container. That's all you do? No, 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 squeeze this in here. Yeah, but I have to open it. Close the cap. I shake it up and down. 20 to 30. Can I put this in here? You use this one or that one? No, I, no, 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 I think this one because that one has no secure. Okay, 20 to 30 times. Okay, basically I'm just gonna dye this, these sections first. And if the color goes well, then I will consider dyeing my whole head. But we're in the process of thinking. So Delia has finished applying the hair dye to 
the bottom of my hair and I don't know what she's doing. She's like, do not do that. Oh my God. Anyway, um, I think if the color goes well, I might as well do my whole head, but we'll see what happens. We'll I'll see, see you guys in 40 minutes. So my mom is currently cooking lunch, but basically I've decided to just dye my whole hair head because um, there's still a lot of hair that I love, surprisingly, even though it looked like a small amount. And also, I feel like it won't show up. So there's still 20 minutes left. I managed to get the hair dye off my forehead and on my ears. And now we're just gonna wait for another 20 minutes. Hey guys, it's been around 40 minutes and I will be washing my hair with this um, hair conditioner that they provided. And yeah, I'll see you guys after. Okay guys, so I think I'm gonna show you guys the results um, on another day. But basically, this is my after my first wash. And as you can tell, the top is very brown. And I don't really see any red in this. I'm not really sure like what happened. This is the part of the video where I'll be showing you my hair in like direct sunlight. Right now, I have my hair tied, like half tied up. And I'm probably gonna do this for the rest of summer or at least until my hair grows out a little bit because I did not think this through. Um, basically, when I cut my hair very short, it just looks like I have mushroom hair. <laughs> yeah, I could have thought of this sooner. Anyway, we're walking towards the light. So um, if I'm facing the sun this way and I let go of all my hair, it is this color. Not sure if you can see it. From what I can tell looking at the screen right now, I definitely see like darkish brown or maybe medium brown. I'm not really sure because I can't really see. The sun is like in my eye. And anyway, I don't see any tint of like red at all. Like it is non-existent. But I was expecting this since I didn't bleach my hair. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys a few more sunlights. Okay guys, here is my hair in the ring and it's really well lit so like it's pretty obvious and this is the color in like um 7 p.m lighting so i finished painting my nails and they look okay i would say I cut them a little bit shorter because they were growing and it's so hot right now so I'm just gonna... I need to sound. What the hell? Oh, I drove on this street, it's so scary. So we just finished getting the piercing. Did it hurt, Sandy? Yes. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Say. So right now we're on the sky train, and I just got my ears pierced, and this is called pain on pain. Delala, what do you think about my second piercing? No comment. So right now we're going downtown to get some like rolled ice cream. We will show you guys in the few clips after this. So let's go. So we've arrived at the on yogurt and it looks so good. Hey guys, so now I'm at the Vancouver Public Library and we were taking pictures over there. I'm gonna show you guys. We were taking photos over there. So this is the part of the video where I will be talking about my experience with my second earlobe piercing. So first things first, yes, the piercing did hurt and I did feel like a really sharp pain initially when the piercer first, I guess, pierced my ears. But then after around five seconds, the pain went away. And the second time I felt pain again was the time that he kind of tightened the back of 
um, these earrings and I could feel him like twisting it around. So I know a lot of people on the internet, they say like, oh, it didn't feel like anything. It was just a pinch. It's way worse than a pinch. If you just go ahead and pinch your ears right now, it probably doesn't feel that painful. But when you actually get your piercing done with a needle, I don't know about a gun, but with a needle, you can definitely feel a really sharp pain and you know when the needle is in your ear, like you can definitely feel it. For my first piercing, I actually went to like a cosmetic surgery kind of clinic and the lady who did my piercings actually used a small amount of anesthesia before she um, pierced my ears. And to be honest, the, the numbing shot itself hurt way more and it lasted longer than the actual piercing part. So what the lady did was she kind of went in with the needle and just stopped halfway in between my ear and she like held the needle there for like way more than 30 seconds and then she went ahead and did the whole piercing with the needle and then she put like the earring on afterwards and I feel like personally I think that is way more painful but the only good thing is after the piercing you don't really feel your ears because I guess they're numb and yeah, so if you feel like you don't want to think about it afterwards, definitely go with that method. <laughs> in terms of the aftercare and after getting the piercing, I didn't really feel any pain. And I actually went on with my day. I went downtown and I took some pictures and I went to the library. So I did everything I had to do that day. And I think the only thing I felt was a little bit warm and I saw my ears were a little bit red. But other than that, there were no irritations, no infections, nothing like that. And yeah, it's been five days. I haven't had any problems with them. I did clean my ears um, like around two times a day with the solution that they suggested, which I believe was a quarter teaspoon of salt to one cup of water. And yeah, so I think as long as you keep them clean, I even went showering with them, like you can touch water, you just have to dry it afterwards. Yeah, so I haven't had any problems with it. So I won't be changing my um, new piercing for at least a month, but right now I have a small hoop So I'm gonna take it off and wear a different one and this one I just got on Amazon. Actually, I really like this So I will link this down below As you can tell my hair is never really okay so it doesn't really matter <laughs> and i'm going to just put it on my eyelid and hope that it doesn't fall into my eyeball because i have my contacts on and that would be a whole entire disaster but i will be <laughs> I'll be attempting to put on these false eyelashes that have magnets on them. What are they called? I forgot. But it looks like this. I got this from like Amazon. Not sure if it works. And I'm not really sure how to put this on. I think I've done it once and I almost um, killed my own eyelashes. So it will be interesting to see how I put this on. Day, it took me way more than five minutes to get these eyelashes even sitting on my eyelid so right now it's like basically floating in between my eyelashes and i'm not sure if they're gonna fall off hopefully they don't until the end of the video but yeah moving on to my face i'm only gonna put on a little blush stick because i don't usually wear blush but for the purpose of this video everything needs to look more dramatic so i feel like it's a good addition to my face So please excuse me as I am trying to remove my hair clips but yes you guys if you watch my vlog video you know how much I love to use this hair styler so I'll be attempting to straighten my hair oh my god straighten down my face after my hair I did not think this through so clearly it is not working out very well because I did not blow dry my hair properly yesterday, so it is called unable to be straightened. Okay, we're 
I just have to think of something. We'll see what happens, okay? Be right back. I hear the vacuuming sound coming from downstairs. It's my sister. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with this hair because there's honestly no point in trying to fix it. It's just gonna stay like this. So if you ask me, Savannah, how much transformation did you really do in this transformation video? Um, to be honest, I feel like I would rate this transformation a 1 out of 10 because honestly, I didn't do anything too crazy, anything too noticeable. But I feel like it was a nice and fun video to film this summer and I'm sure the more exciting part will be coming up when I um, start packing and flying. <laughs> so if you guys like this video, leave a like down below. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike so I'll know. And yeah, for the next video, hopefully I'll do something fun and join the family by subscribing. What else to say? I think that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.